All right. So I think I stopped talking and then... You stopped talking and now I'm talking? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. We're back with another episode of Unread Mail. My name is Warren Duff. I'm joined here with Matt Rushing. His team sort of handles all of the email programs here at SendGrid. We're going to be talking about the global email benchmark report today. We published this report a couple weeks ago. If you haven't downloaded it yet, definitely go check it out. Uh, the report covers about 100,000 different senders and 30 billion different emails that, we, that were sent over the course of a month earlier this year. And we sort of broke that information out to provide different industries with different email engagement benchmarks that they can compare their email programs to. And it's really useful. Today, Matt's going to be diving into the technology industry because that's where SendGrid most aligns. And we're gonna look at some of the benchmarks that sort of validate our email program or that were a little bit unexpected. So, Matt? Yeah, definitely. So, um, we've talked a lot about this report internally, um, but our team kind of being in the unique position of actually being able to put it to use. Um, and I was definitely surprised with the value in there. So I wanted to kind of jump into some highlights and some takeaways that uh, our team can use to put the findings to use in our strategy. So for one, we were able to kind of validate where we stand in engagement statistics, technology, uh, open rates around 38%, click rates around 8%. We're definitely in that ballpark. Uh, def exceed it in some areas where you might have a really engaged customer um, and then areas where you might have a less engaged prospect can bring that down but that was pretty much in line with that, what I would respect or expect in the uh, technology industry. The other thing that uh, this report spent a lot of time on was send frequency so it found that uh, technology was sending around 8.5 times per month to any address, um, which works out to a couple times a week. And I think that is being a consumer of email, that makes sense. We definitely try to make sure we're only sending the right message to the right person at the right time at SendGrid. So I would say we we're probably a little bit below that send frequency and we actually have operational measures in place to make sure that we're not over messaging. In addition to these email benchmarks that we have for each industry. We also took a look at the different inbox providers that we send to in different countries around the world. Um, this is a great tool for different senders because you can see what inbox providers are more popular in different countries. In Germany, GMX is very popular as opposed to here in the States where Gmail is the dominant inbox provider. And in Russia, they have their own mail.ru inbox provider that we might not be familiar with. So as a sender, you can segment by country and really make sure that your emails render correctly in those different inboxes. Yeah, and I think that falls into the takeaway category for, for our email program, um, thinking about time of day and making sure we're giving proper respect to those inbox providers that might not be as popular over here in the States, but are in a big segment of our recipients. Yeah. So if you haven't downloaded the email benchmark report yet, definitely go check it out. We'll be back in a couple weeks with another episode of Unread Mail. And until then, happy sending.